Hi, this is Phil, and I'm here to tell you all about the Capes and Lunatics Patreon. Get early access to all of our interviews, including the monthly Chichester chats with writer and comic book legend DG Chichester, new episodes of classic Capes and Lunatics shows, including The Quantum Zone, This, That, or The Third, and many, many more specials, all completely uncensored. Access starts for $3 a month, full video when you pledge $5 a month. Check out the link in our show notes, or go to patreon.com slash capesandlunatics. Hope to see you there. Batman. My favorite character. Give that man a shackle. <laughs> we're gonna pay Ray for drops, man. We're, we're gonna be broke. Anyway, <laughs> welcome back to another episode of We Are the Night. <gasps> the <gasps> Batman Podcast. <laughs> That's right, kids. You may be confused. It is the end of the month, so yes, we're talking more uh, John Paul Valley Batman ish- issues with Justin. Al's real himself but it's a special guest who you've heard every other the first three weeks of every month it is little fire hey guys uh, i'm just dubbing this joke boner part two so i'm just you know i'm just here to razz the joke <laughs> for 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 those of you who don't get the joke yes check out the nightwing news uh playlist on youtube where uh yes what was that last? Was that last year, Lil? Yes. No, last year. We, me and Kristen covered the uh, issue of uh, Batman where you know Joker was pulling pranks or boners. Mmm. Ah, and... uh, the evolution of the English language. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Lil had to join us for that one. Because I'm a twelve, I'm, tra- I, I'm a twelve-year-old boy trapped in a grown woman's body. <laughs> it's bad. It's bad. Lil heard boner and she said, "Damn it, I'm in." <laughs> <laughs> Sign me up. Isn't that what the boner should say? They never. Been. <laughs> anyway and so yes she said i was i was shocked when she said she wanted uh, in on these issues but again it's the joker once again not just the joker 90s joker with a ponytail with a ponytail ponytail joker ponytail like joker dragon from freaking kim impossible like come on <laughs> Love it, man. You people think we're. I po- think that Disney owes <laughs> Disney owes DC a little bit of money. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, you you youngins think we pull your leg when we said everyone had a ponytail or a mullet in the '90s? No, the Joker had a ponytail. It could have been worse. He could have had a rat tail. <laughs> That's true. That's true. That almost been funny. That was reserved for unnamed henchmen, though. I'm pretty sure over at Marvel, <laughs> that was reserved for unnamed henchmen. <laughs> <laughs> That was like their uniform. <laughs> Although that that would have been funny to see Joker with like a full on green mullet. <laughs> yeah, that would have been funny. I'm gonna need the cosplay people. Somebody send me pictures of cosplays. <laughs> yes, I feel like I I feel like I feel like uh, that's your homework assignment, uh, Russell. Where's the Joker <laughs> nuggets? <laughs> Where's the Joker yeah, mullet? If I, go, if I go to visit Justin. Again, in Kentucky, he does not make me Joker Nuggets with Mountain Dew. We're gonna fight. We're gonna fight. <laughs> oh, Russell, start filling up that uh, that garage with Mountain Dew. <laughs> yes, Wild. start stocking up now. Like an animal, and all the different flavors too. Yes, you have to come up with uh, some uh, kind of Mountain Dew machine taste test for love. No, I yes. invented that, you dick. <laughs> I just know he has one. He just doesn't want to say he does. I just know it. <laughs> No, he has like the, the mountain. Freestyle, but it's mountain Dew. No, he has the Coke machine. Has the freestyle. He has it for Mountain Dew. He has one of those home bars that you know, but it, it, yeah. it but it, it, instead of beer, instead, mini bar. instead of beer on tap, it's Mountain Dew. <laughs> it's a Mountain Dew mini bar. <laughs> yes, give them ideas. Put it into the atmosphere. My caffeine consumption. <laughs> uh, I don't want to know what's going on down there in Mexico. <laughs> This cover is really cool, though. Oh, yeah. We get it. Kelly Jones cover. Oh, yeah. All, all three are Kelly Jones. Yeah. 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 I, I actually recently was thinking about buying his um, his DC gallery book. It's it's all in black and white. I kind of usually don't like it, but I'm thinking about it. I think his covers are really mm, Definitely. Oh, yeah. I can, I, I can see his work looking uh, pretty. He's one of those ones that will look pretty decent in black and white. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. They're doing it in, like, the 200-inch line, so it's, like, the full-size... Oh, full cool. color scan, but they're doing it in black and white. 
to make it pop and you know, so you mm-hmm. know the details. So. Yeah. I don't know if That's it's cool. I don't know if it's just this cover, but I'm like, yeah, his his. I mean, his work is usually looks good. You know, it gives you like a horror vibe. But yeah, especially this this cover. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, this this is right up his alley. You can tell he has monsters. Yeah, all the Universal monsters, totally. Yeah. <laughs> NBC is somewhere crying, screaming, throwing up slash out of wall right now because <laughs> they couldn't get their deal of uh, Universal monsters uh, connected universe off the ground. It's like, babe, you started with Tom Cruise. What did you expect? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That mummy movie. Oh. We hire Brendan Fraser to do a mummy movie. We were in a Brendan Fraser Renaissance era, and you chose Tom Cruise. Yeah, you get everything you deserve. Absolutely. Everything. Yeah. What are you What are you saying, Loth? That uh, Tom That Tom Cruise movie came up a little short. <laughs> Real short. <laughs> Not enough apple boxes in the world. Okay, we can make fun of him because we did a whole thing about. Mitchell. Oh yeah, we can't. We kiss the impossibles, but on Saudi and Petty, yeah. So we gotta rinse that taste out of our mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Although I want to live, so praise Zenu. <laughs> I'm just saying, we need to hear Katie Holmes's tell-all book. Oh, I don't. I don't think she could do it. Not, Versus not how they, not and live, not and live, yeah. not and live. Like even Nicole Kidman never really said anything. That's Boy's true. First yeah. wife, so I think if the first wife specifically never said anything, we're never yeah. going to hear anything. It's not yeah. safe for them. Yeah, the tentacles have the power. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go blaming tentacles on this one. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't think those are tentacles. Tentacles are benevolent. <laughs> I don't think those are tentacles. <laughs> uh, I like the tentacles, stupid. <laughs> exactly. And that's what they, you know what? I feel like somebody was talking to Chuck Dixon. This is like from 94, right? So Batman Forever is in production or they're writing a script or something. And that's what kind of generated this. Like the look of Batman's ridiculous because it's ridiculous. Mm. And like all the little things. Like yeah, I think he was privy to some of those conversations or maybe they wanted to implement some of these changes into the comic book and this is him giving them the middle finger low key. <laughs> like that's my head candy because that just seems like a Chuck Dixon thing to do. <laughs> Either that or they ask him for like free ideas or something. He's like yeah, F you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, yeah, because uh yeah, the first one here, kids. Detective Comics 671 from February 1994. The Cutting Room Floor by, of course... I love how it opens. He's talking to us. It's cute. And again, if you think, if you haven't gotten it by now, yes, writer, uh, Signal of Doom mascot, Chuck Dixon. Uh, <laughs> mascot. Joker. <laughs> Joker. <laughs> Joker. Penciler Graham Nolan, inker Scott Hanna, colorist Adrian Roy, letterer John Costanza. Costanza. <laughs> Editors Darren Vincenzo. What they got for our old girl Roy? <laughs> uh, <laughs> old Roy. <laughs> Good lord. <sighs> Joker. <laughs> Joker shows a test reel of his new production, The Death of Batman. Hot on the heels of Death of Superman. The producer, Barry Zedmore, gladly agrees that Paragon Pictures would be happy in shooting the film. The Joker tells him that he will get the cast together, saying the lead is a bit temperamental. Boy, he has no he has no idea. Yeah. Even the Joker has no idea at this point. What a yeah, what a drama queen that lead is. Meanwhile, a group of muggers dressed as common creatures from the late night show attack a young girl, Cindy Brooks. Batman takes them down easily as he knows that the creatures were of someone's design. Joker on the opposite building says that he misses the traditional Batman. Talk about your meta commentary. Don't we all? (laughs) Mm. Batman then takes Cindy to her apartment on her college campus. Uh, Ooh, oh my! It sounds like something off either one of your hard drives. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I was thinking of both of you last night. Guess where we got dinner from? Five Guys. Oh, nice! <laughs> Funny. That's Five a good guys, night, right there. Us. I love your fries. <laughs> exactly, and they're gluten free. <laughs> oh my lord! 
see, this is easy for me. I just <laughs> open up the same joke book for either one of you. I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, you like penis. It applies, <laughs> it applies equally. Uh, Joker looks at the footage from the previous night while his henchmen argue about the new look for the Dark Knight. Their producers have been locked up in a cell in which Zenmore is saying that the death of Batman is going to be Paragon Pictures' biggest hit. It's going to be huge, I tell you, huge! <laughs> in the back game, Jean-Paul has a vision of St. Dumbass telling him that he grooved, that he grooved. It's pronounced Dumbass! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that he grows weary. Uh, that he grows weary of the crusade, and he, but he must continue on. The Joker decides that the Batman needs the motivation, so gets the cameras to go to Cindy's college campus. Batman then takes on another group of movie monsters, finding out that the Joker has been watching him. He then sees that someone is thrown out the window, but it's Robin! <gasps> Why does Batman wear Because oh, oh. <laughs> he doesn't want to get shot. Why does Robin wear such a colorful costume? <laughs> because Batman doesn't want to get shot. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Shout, uh, like... out Shout out to little Lenny, guys. Shout little Lenny. <laughs> get rid of little Lenny. No, he's the heart of the production. <laughs> uh. So, yeah, I thought. Oh, wait. Uh, page three, the Joker is wearing a coat with the old DC Comics logo. Yes. As I told you, when I go with comic book shop with people that don't know, I'm like, these are the logos you look for. Do not give me a new 52 logo or you will be left behind. Do <laughs> uh, 52. Try to donkey punch me now. <laughs> uh, Those are not allowed. Also, a Heroes Reborn. Not allowed. <laughs> It's so funny because I, I have like two. I, apparently, I have two full sets now. <laughs> I, don't they, I don't know where they came from. What? Heroes Reborn? Yeah, I, I honestly don't know where they came from. This came from like a big lot. I just, I was going through some of my stuff and I'm like, wait a minute, how the hell did oh, this get in here? Good doubles. Time to make some Marvel. money. Sell those on eBay. <laughs> I mean, I, believe me, I will. I mean, we joke, but what kind of himbos are you dating that are giving you Heroes Reborn? No, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I bought it in a really, really big lot. But I'm like, oh. it's weird that there's one. Now there's two. Like, I can understand one, but you have two full, complete sets of Heroes Reborn. This person, whoever sold it, was a maniac. <laughs> like, I need to find out who this person was. I need to check their basement. No, no, no. You know what it, you know what it, you know what it was? You know what it was? There's some idiot who, like, bought two set, two copies of each one because they were like, ah, here's my reading copy and here's my one to save because this will be yes. worth a fortune one day. Here's <laughs> my reader's copy. <laughs> <laughs> like how funny would it have been if like one of the sets had been everything all of them had been slabbed oh, or something my copy and here's my ass wiping copy <laughs> <laughs> slabby heroes reborn <laughs> you know in case of pandemic it's, I do have toilet paper now so thank you for that <laughs> oh. extra soft Liefeld brand <laughs> yes Oh, Lord. Oh, yes, and the unnamed film critics look like Roger Ebert and Gene Siskel. F yeah. the chat. F mm -hmm. the chat. Yeah. I, I grew up watching that on Saturday afternoon. They're like, what movie should I go see? <laughs> I love their little dialogue, too. One, one of them says, he's updated his image for the 90s Joker. A sleeker look. A Batman for those with a shorter attention span. I can't say I like this new Batman. So and the <laughs> And the other dude's like, I won't agree with that. Batman's gone for a retro medieval appearance. With the armor and new weaponry, he presents a classic image of the Dark Knight. And Joker's like, would it kill you two to agree on something for once? <laughs> Never. That was the beauty of it. Absolutely. I don't think they ever agreed on anything. But yeah, Chuck Dixon, very... I, I think they both agreed that the um, Steel movie was absolutely horrible. Oh, <laughs> Steel, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Chuck Dixon, I swear, was thrown in a bunch of meta commentary because, I mean, there were he people... Was sick of it, and we were sick of it. He, he probably saw an uh, early draft of freaking Batman and Forever, and he's like, no, this ain't it. Yeah. <laughs> this ain't it. Uh... 
Uh, but yeah, there are several characters disguised as movie monsters, both on the cover and inside of the story. Some are Dracula, Frankenstein's monster, a werewolf, and Leatherface. Ooh, I don't, I don't know how they got away with the Leatherface. Mm. And uh, there was like a RoboCop looking guy too, but that that looked different enough from yeah. the real RoboCop, so they didn't have to worry about anything. I like the kids throwing the uh, throwing the rocks at the house too, though. So, oh yeah, yeah, I think. yeah. <laughs> smashing the windows at Wayne Manor. Yeah, yeah. Because we talked about that before. It's basically like, yeah, to keep Robin out. Basically, Jean Paul's bricked himself up in the back cave. It's like idiot. There's how many bedrooms up there? Why are at least you have full run of a completely empty mansion? Why aren't you up there? Yeah. California king bed in every room. Why aren't you sleeping in it? Nope. Well, you know, he, he's like kind of is basically a monk, so he has to suffer. You know, he mm. can't have the niceties and the luxury the way that I do that. And, and that, and he's a blonde bimbo idiot. Like, <laughs> you saw him lusting after Catwoman. Like, yeah. Like oh, movie. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. That, that tells you everything you need to know about this poor guy. He he doesn't have anything upstairs. Yeah. It's, just, it's, it's all vibes, no thoughts. Space for rent. Yeah. Exactly. But I'm There's okay a with lot that. of space up there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with that. Uh, but yeah, I mean, great art and uh, Graham Nolan. I always love his Lots art. Lots of explosions. Yeah. Definitely. And the, fi- the fight scenes are always good. I do like the scene where he's leaping off the top of the building. And it's just like that one long panel of him like plummeting. I yes, really I was about one. to say that. Yeah, I love that, that one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, that's good stuff. Yeah, because I mean, it's not. Yeah, I like Robin falling. falling. Yeah. <laughs> good cliffhanger ending. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I- I really like that. But I love how I mean, you get like that classic like Batman look, you know, like in the shadows and stuff, you mm. know, just the shadows. You still can make out the little pointy bit. <laughs> yes. And the eyes. Yeah. Oh, the red eyes. Yeah, that's. The red eyes. Yeah. It's like, no, that's Robin falling from the window. <laughs> Should I just let him die? He is a little bit of a pain in the ass right now. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. They weren't exactly on the best of terms before this, so. Oh, yeah. Gene Paul's yeah. basically like, oh, yeah. Yeah, he almost killed him. He almost, almost choked him like a chicken. <laughs> Choke that chicken! I don't know why we have a drop for that, but we have a drop for that. <laughs> it's a good drop to have. Choke that chicken! <laughs> uh, pretty much, if it's like, why do we have that drop? It's it's, it's pretty much a. Odds are it's a little hellfire. Sometimes it's a ray, but you know. A couple of bulls down the gold. No, I, I totally understand why we have that. Oh! <laughs> You're talking about meat so natural for real. <laughs> 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 uh, aura. Because Ray likes it hard and Ray likes it long. <laughs> talking about comic books guys what's well, batman so of course he's not gonna hear this he's a creeper i know he is <laughs> he's gonna hear some of this the hard master <laughs> talking about meat so natural for lilith uh, what can a girl say <laughs> what can a girl say wait where's my drops <laughs> where's my gobble gobble scream it <laughs> just love making him laugh out of the gooch <laughs> aren't you glad you woke up early little hellfire <laughs> I am where the frick's my mimosa <laughs> <laughs> sitting there in the desert drinking her mimosas <laughs> All right, next issue. Detect- yes. Detective Comics 672, March 1994. Smash cut. Ooh. Yeah. Almost. They almost owed Marvel a shot. Almost. 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 All right, so yes, yeah, smash cut. Chuck the uh, same. Yeah, everyone's the same. Uh, having just... If the world needs a Batman, Batman definitely needs a Robin. Even if it is Damian Wayne, he needs a Robin. Mm, he does. I agree with Tim on his assessment. Oh, nice. That's why Asbats is just like not it for me. <laughs> <laughs> I know he's he's straight. You know, Asbats strays into certain territory times. Kind of the uh, how do we say? Your mother's a whore. 
<laughs> How dare you besmirch Diddy's good name and compare him to that jerk? How dare you? <laughs> He see, he, he, no, he, it is being written by Chuck Nixon in this instance, so you would be correct in your assessment. No, oh, <laughs> I, I definitely feel like Chuck Dixon is a follower of the uh, Frank Miller cult. I, I mm, yes, Chuck, Chuck, Chuck Dixon slander. Now, it, now it's no saying, scream it, sister, scream it. <laughs> it. It's not even a slander. You can just tell oh, that certain the the the, the homages and the and the things that you know certain comic book creators like and, and put into their books you can see the reflection of what they read as kids what influences them oh yeah definitely yeah and that's just that's just a neutral statement <laughs> mm-hmm. it's true yeah that is absolutely true all right uh having just fought the joker's minions batman sees that robin was the joker's intended victim and the joker has thrown him out of cindy brooks's bedroom window he fires his grapnel. The love hellfire method of getting written bully is good for her. <laughs> good for her. Right out the window. Uh, uh, oh, you don't want to know the things I've done. Uh, he fires his grapple hook up towards the gargoyle, catching Robin momentarily before he hits the ground. The Joker is stunned at how the Dark Knight saves the boy Wonder and getting angry hits the cameraman. <laughs> when Batman lands on the ground he finds out that his partner is actually the college student cindy brooks he tells a teenage boy to call a hospital and knows that the robin costume is a symbol from the joker meanwhile the joker uh reviews the new storyboards for the death of batman he sees that they are they are no use if the batman won't cooperate barry zedborn and his employers are dragged out to up the butt or to up the budget for the Joker movie, but disagree, saying that they are to co- they are uh, they are too committed to the project. The Joker threatens to kill his employer, but refuses soon, knowing his own life might be at risk. Ups the budget to buy five million. <laughs> if it was just that simple, if only. Sounds like Hollywood. I love that part. We've got the gun to everybody's head. He's like, "How about the lovely Lorraine? We could eliminate her salary right here and now." <laughs> And said more. It's like, ah, yeah, assistants are a dime a dozen. <laughs> You'll have to cut deeper than that, Jokatola. <laughs> uh, I love that line, though. He's like, look at that Cape Creek and go, because that sounds up how I feel about Asbats, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> like, but I'm siding with the Joker. You're doing something wrong, babes. I, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and I told you, I want to I wanna get that death, the death of the Batman poster, blow it up, and send it to Ray. <laughs> Yes, yeah, he would love that. I think they were giving Carrie Kelly vibes on that one, though, for the Cindy thing. I was just like, I see you, I see you. Yeah. Uh, all right, hold on. Uh, Jean-Paul reads the Joker's foul, learning that Robin has been on the computer in the last 24 hours. He wishes to have a dreamless sleep and deal with it the next day. No, he he, he wants dreams. All right, you know what that means? Time to get drunk. Because when you get blackout, when you get blackout drunk, your brain does not entertain you. You don't dream. So. No, he only wants certain dreams. Yeah. Cat wants dreams. Mm-hmm. You're the devil herself. You're the knight herself, and a devil for making me want you. He said. <laughs> oh, Jean Paul, stop it. Although, just what a girl wants to hear. Yeah, right. <laughs> Little Hellfire speaks from You're experience. You're a devil in a black cat suit. <laughs> French lads sure know how to talk to a dame. <laughs> Whip me like one of your French boys. We're <laughs> <laughs> like Japanese businessmen. Whoa! <laughs> oh, you don't want to know the things I've done. Oh. <laughs> uh. Uh, while at the Gotham City Police Department, Officer Bullock receives a poster of the Joker's new movie showing it to Gordon. The poster, uh, the Joker, uh, a group of criminals are called by the Joker to star in his movie, saying that they are going to end what Bane only started. Put that, put that, put that, he get the poster and put it up. Oh. Attention. <laughs> yeah, I gotta, uh, come on, give me a second. Yeah, I t- Oh, and uh, also, Little Hellfire, we do get the the uh, uh, explanation of uh, the name Alan Smithy in here, also. Oh yeah, but I think I think that our good pal uh, DG Chichester explains it better. So go over there and listen to those episodes. Oh, definitely, yeah. <laughs> He's good friends with Chichester Alan Chichester Smithy. <laughs> Chichester chats. Bing. <laughs> Bing. Oh man, that's funny. 
the Manchester Majestic Theater. 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 You gotta see this movie. My life depends on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, there's so many jokes on that poster. I four stars. Don't hit me again. <laughs> I have to say it's the finest film of the year to date, or the Joker will kill my family. <laughs> At uh, towering cinema achievement, I'd say that even though they have a blood chill to my face. <laughs> blow torch out to my feet. Yeah. Who are these guys? Peyton Lilith? It's like, yeah, she's the best girl I've ever known. Please don't hit me anymore. <laughs> Alright. Uh, hold on, I got it. Alright. Uh, there we go, kids. There it is. <laughs> the death of you will believe a Batman can die. <laughs> <laughs> we do need to find a way to get that to Ray. Get a copy of that to Ray yes. for his wall. People love that. I might, might just send him that image be like, we were talking about this today. <laughs> we thought you might like this. Tease him, tease him. <laughs> don't hit me. <laughs> or I'll get, don't hit me again, wham, TV. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, man. You know, there is a Paragon Pictures, though. Oh, yeah. Wasn't it an old, old uh, company? Yeah, I, I thought it was an allusion to Paramount. But... That's what I thought, too. It's like a Christian. Now it's like a Christian. Oh. Kirk Cameron. Oh, no, not that bad. Okay. All right. Oh, we're already talking. No, we... no, no, okay. No, this is Indonesia. Yeah, this is like a um, Bollywood type stuff. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's fine. That's fine. We like Bollywood. Kirk Cameron's. It's more of a recent thing. I think that was an illusion in 94 to appear. Because they would put out movies mm. back in the day. No. They put out those Star Trek movies, didn't they? <laughs> yeah. That was about it. Yeah. In the 90s, we didn't see much from Paramount. Yeah. Now these days, kids, you want to see Death of the Batman, you gotta uh, pay the extra money and get uh, Paragon Plus. <laughs> plus plus. <laughs> Paragon uh, Prime. Oh, nice. Uh, all right. Commissioner Gordon waits by the bat signal for Batman to show up. Officer Montoya tells Gordon that the weather is too cold and that the Batman would handle the Joker on his own. Gordon walks inside with Montoya, disappointed by the disappearance of the Batman. At the hospital, Jean-Paul goes to check on Cindy, but learns that she's been captured by the Joker. He gets in his Batman costume and goes to investigate her disappearance. At the Majestic Theater, the police arrive, but are stopped by a gun firing at them. Batman arrives at the movie warehouse where he finds Cindy, but only to find that she is an illusion. Suddenly... <laughs> What is this, Mysterio? <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, water rushes in, revealing crocodiles in the water. Batman fires his line, but without success, lands in the water, which he finds out the crocodiles are rubber. <laughs> hey, hold on. No thinks two episodes is a marathon recording session. Oh, sweet summer. Oh, uh, sweet summer. Bill <laughs> <laughs> can do this all day. <laughs> <laughs> What's your record, like four or five or something? I think four. I think four has been the limit. I mean, we actually did a marathon for Rob at some point yeah. years ago, but hell, Wolf and I have done three in a row. <laughs> Plus the Dream Team talking about Ray's third favorite DC character. What, Asriel? <laughs> <laughs> Masquerading as a... Anybody but Bruce. That's, that's Ray's <laughs> slogan. <laughs> Anybody but Bruce. Yeah. Batman, ABB. my favorite character. Into the Dark Knight, all to do with Batman. <laughs> his third favorite DC character masquerading as his first DC uh, favorite DC character. What, what, it goes Black Canary, Huntress, and then Esper. <laughs> I <laughs> love maybe, Batman. Maybe he's the fourth because Antenna does have some fishnets. So. That's true. Some rocking fishnets. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's what we were talking on Marvel Tales, with, uh, Justin. It was like, maybe we get Ray to talk Silver Sable with us. I'm like, I'm pretty sure we could get Ray to talk Silver Sable with us. <laughs> you know, man, you won't, we won't have to twist his arm too hard. About it. <laughs> 90s artwork. Yeah, I think we'll get I think Ray, I, 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 have a, I have a sneaking suspicion. We'll get no matter what Ray's up to. We'll get him to guess on <laughs> Two episodes. I think we'll get them on both sides. I, I yeah, have, I think have so. it. Let's, I thought. Yeah, I've got a good intuition about that. Yeah, I love what these, these, these everything all these episodes just degenerate into like, oh yeah, Ray loves Batman. Yeah, oh, yeah, Ray. <laughs> Ray's, Ray's a little ho, Ray's a little horny teenage boy. Yeah, <laughs> Lilith and Justin sober. Ah, uh, you're half right. Uh, Lilith, well, are, Lilith is already cool. sitting in the desert drinking her mimosas. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, I'm an hour 
are behind you guys. I know. <laughs> it's true. Yes. It's brunch. It's fine. Yeah. She's on an all liquid diet, Noel. Leave her alone. <laughs> Then as ragtime piano fills the air, a group of jokers of jokers fling pies at him. He uses his arse. Oh, right in the face, huh? Yeah. Oh, right in the face. Right in the face. Oh, right in the face of that cream pie love. <laughs> <laughs> you get right in the face with that sack. I mean, it's always been a thing when they did the old stick about a pie in the face, right? Like, that's very, that's very vaudeville, very, you know, suggestive is all that I'm saying. Yeah. Because the kid always yeah. thought, hmm. Why is that so funny? And as an adult, you can realize. <laughs> Not in the face. <laughs> it's so salty. <laughs> I mean, meringue can be salty, so you would be correct. <laughs> oh my god, no. <laughs> it's so salty. <laughs> It's great. Every, <laughs> hey, every, everyone has their favorite little hellfire drops, okay? Not in the face. <laughs> I just heard the greatest drop ever. Who said it? Me. <laughs> <laughs> Me. Uh, all right, I'll They're say They're all you. mine. Uh, I'm 12 when you need me to be 12. Uh, all right. Back to this. Uh, so, yeah, pies. Uh, he uses his arsenal, but realizes too late that the pies are drugged. Uh, <laughs> uh oh. Drugged cream pies. Get the poison Damn. out quickly. <laughs> Uh, tap 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 him away downtown. <laughs> Kitch stops the gun firing at the cops in the theater, but actually realizes that it ran out of bullets. Batman awakens only to find himself chained to the floor while Cindy Brooks is stuck in a cage, slowly filling His with favorite dream. Slowly filling mm. with water, but na- unable to free himself. The Joker says that of all out of all the gin joints in town, he walked into his. Hey, whatever happened to Kitch anyway? Um. I don't know. Did we see him after No Man's Land? Uh, I don't think we ever did. I don't remember. Again, I think it's I just the, I think it's just the point after a while you get new creative teams and you know people get, you know, supporting cast get dropped and Yeah, I think officially after like 2011 he's like we don't even have I think he's assumed dead by whatever by Really? Name. Yeah. <laughs> new 52. I was always curious well, about that. Whatever by happened. New 52. <laughs> Well, you live in Gotham. If you haven't been seen for a while, everyone just automatically assumes you're dead. Yeah. Yeah. And you're a cop, definitely. Yeah. There's not many uh, retirement rates for the Jeep. GCPD, let's put it that way. Not Bullock or Gordon, or or Renee, although she has not been seen for a while either. That's true. (laughs) Yeah. Who? Wait, who, Montoya? Yeah. No, she's commissioner now. (laughs) Is she? Yeah, that's right. Uh huh. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, Gordon's like retired. Yeah. (laughs) Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Say it with me. Paw Patrol, even Paw Patrol, all cops are bad. <laughs> <laughs> Power Rangers, all cops are bad. <laughs> That's a new one on me. Oh, you got to look at those. Movies. It's great. It's great on TikTok. It's just people. It's just get, it, it starts off like, sure, yeah, all cops are bad. That's perfect timing, Noel. Uh. Or like all Batman are bastards, and then you get to Angel season one, you're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Uh. look, I, I love how, I love these. I'm not here to talk about late stage capitalism today, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> He's just all fired up because you're Chuck Dixon issue issues. <laughs> just an observation. <laughs> exactly. All right, you guys ready for the last issue? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Detective Comics six seventy three, April nineteen ninety four. Losing the light. Uh... <laughs> losing something. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> What's that quote in this book? I can't put my finger on it. Something's different. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my! That's not him. Leave it to Joker to know. So that's not my boo. <laughs> he knows. Oh, he knows yeah. the love of his life when he sees him. Well, that's true. Don't be fingered. Uh, all Dixons are best. <laughs> 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 uh, 
Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, how dare you talk about Signal of Doom mascot Chuck Dixon like that? <laughs> Daryl Dixon, come on! Can't yeah, Daryl Dixon. Dixon. Daryl Dixon never did anything wrong. Gary Dixon deserves the slander, so does Lee Dixon. But you're gonna leave Hanford or Willie out of this. <laughs> Everybody's googly frantically. <laughs> because you know, sometimes my 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 context clues are very very old, very very old. <laughs> Oh, uh, oh, uh, <laughs> Justin! I may be sending you some messages later. We, we, I think me and Lilith have decided on some drops. We need you to record. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, well, I'm always good for that. Camps and Lunatics Podcast Network. <laughs> Holly yeah. presents to you the best dicks on the best dick <laughs> on the internet. <laughs> A gallery of giant sized man things. <laughs> Did I stutter? Uh, Poor Willie. <laughs> You're typing, so the stuttering would be kind of comical, but all right. After his minions capture Batman in a warehouse, Joker claims that this is the final scene for the death of Batman. While the rest of the criminals fire at Batman, he was chained to the floor. But the criminals realize that the guns they are using are firing blanks at Batman. While they are distracted, Batman shoots his shrinkins, freeing himself from the ground. The criminals realize that he is on his feet and attempt to fight him in combat. While Batman hey, fight. Hmm. Real quick, those boobs scare me. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> um, why is it so veiny? Whoa! <laughs> those boobs scare me. You're welcome. And a new drop so was baby? born! The drop gods have gifted us the perfect drop! I'm a sucker for a guy with a powerful rod. <laughs> Yeah, nineties were not nineties. Nineties art was not uh, yeah, good on boobs. Oh, some say Bruce Wayne's shooting blanks. Uh, Damien's not his son. That person. Was <laughs> I, I I mean, why do you think they're trying to? Why do you think they're always trying to contaminate the Gotham water supply? Noel, come on, we're trying to sterilize the whole city. <laughs> Oh my god, there's a Joker prank. He like pours Viagra in the Gotham River or something. <laughs> Viagra and ecstasy, the perfect cocktail. <laughs> Let's have a real fun weekend, Gotham City. There's your secret, kids. That's what those Joker fish taste like. Uh, ecstasy and Viagra. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> now everybody's going to be fishing in the Gotham Harbor, Phil. Great job. <laughs> You see people walking into a club just like eating Joker fish like uh, Danny DeVito was in Batman Returns. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just eating it by now him. we know why. <laughs> uh, while Batman fights the criminals, Joker notices that his arch enemy is actually an imposter. The Batman takes down the last of the criminals before remembering that Cindy Brooks was still captured. He shoots the cage, freeing her from the water. Cindy tells him that she was hired by the Joker as one as the one that would be in the hot scenes. Meanwhile, in the oh, no. <laughs> girls gone wild. Oh no! He <laughs> said it'd be tasteful for the plot. <laughs> Best episode of Asbats ever. Oh, Lilith! Now you're gonna have to join us every week. Now, oh no! Yeah, you have to come back, Lilith. Oh no, the patrons demanded. No. Wait a minute, you don't pay for Patreon, you don't count no. <laughs> and a new drop is born and a new drop is born. Suck it, Noel. <laughs> uh, oh, wait till we get to the Asriel ongoing series, uh Noel uh, uh Russell's gonna join me and Justin for those. So. Yeah. That's gonna be a good time. Mountain dual fueled chaos. I love it. Yeah. Uh, uh. Where's the Joker nuggets? <laughs> Wild like an animal. No, I invented that, you dick. Can we get an F in the chat for the two critics? Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> Mean- like, ah, well. Meanwhile, the- <laughs> meanwhile, in the prop room, Joker claims that this new Batman is not the one he knows while killing the two critics. A vision of Saint Dumbass appears to Jean Paul telling it's him to let Dumbass <laughs> <laughs> Telling him to let the system take over. <laughs> I love I, again this I swear it this flow through you. That's a little creepy considering, you know, Saint Dumas might have been a pre- it's just a little creepy. That's all. Not in it's so not, not in yeah. so many words, but I swear Saint Dumas here is like going full uh, Frank Miller because he's like, Yeah, see the woman f- the, see the woman wasn't even innocent. The, you know, the the city is corrupt, they're all whores. <laughs> Your mother's a whore <laughs> The Frank Miller school <laughs> doing comic book story arcs. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, it tracks, yeah. Commissioner Gordon is sitting in his office at Gotham City Police Headquarters talking to his wife about the Joker's new threats. But Sarah is really interested in talking about the new Batman saying that he's not the same. Gordon doesn't believe her, walking out of his office in a hurry. He said, it, it, it can't be true. <laughs> no, he's he's been a little rough rougher lately, but that's, that's just... <laughs> couples go through th- 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 changes. Come on. He's just going through a phase, that's all. <laughs> Batman looks for the Joker, knowing that he wouldn't leave without... He thinks Batman's going through a midlife crisis because now all of a sudden he's chasing <laughs> college girls. <laughs> <laughs> Got a new costume, a new car, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a midlife crisis. I'd let him drive that subway rocket for a while, you know. I'm not getting out of his system. Ah, <sighs> uh, uh, little, little, little robot butler has arrived. Thank you. Oh, new next mimo- next mimo- <laughs> next mimosa. Thank you, sir. It's the Doombot. Thank you, Jeeves. Exactly. It's the horny Doombot. Get her. <laughs> Is that a sentient tongue? What? <laughs> uh, if you consider AI sentient, yes. Is that a sentient tongue? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! It's so salty. Uh. It doesn't feel right, bro. That's how Joker and Gordon feel right now. I was like, where's Batman gone? Oh, I see what you're going for here, Noel. Midlife crisis and infinite earth. Yes! Don't give DC ideas. (laughs) Yeah. Midlife will run with that. technically have a midlife crisis when he disappeared that one time and uh, Gordon became Batman. We'll call that his midlife crisis. Oh, God. Oh, when was that? Yeah, wasn't that? New new 52, 52, yeah. Yeah. If if it sounds like a terrible idea, it was New 52. (laughs) Yeah, that was midlife crisis. Oh. Gordon was wearing that armor that they call the bunny armor because it had those ears on it. It's worse than the Snyder. Snyderverse uh, Batman armor. Well, also, uh, again, that was also the era that gave us Casual Friday Superman, too. Remember those weeks? Oh, from, yeah. Uh, Casual Friday Superman with the jeans. Yeah. Oh, my God. We should have just called him Red Blue Burr, is all I'm saying. <laughs> Me and Lilith, <laughs> me, me and Lilith had fun every week just poo-pooing over that idea. Yeah. I mean, the thing, I used to do those podcasts sober. <laughs> Comic Capers was sober a little though. Oh my <laughs> lord. Robot Gordon is a bastard. <laughs> no, and he was. He was. He did let that power go. Just one of the worst arcs ever out of 52. It's who, so who fun. wrote that one? That when when Gordon took over, who wrote that? Uh was that Sn- was that Scott Snyder? It was, you know. It was. was it? Oh. I mean, it went through all the bad sure. books, so it was like a team effort, but yeah. But I think that was his Ooh. conception. I don't remember that. Because Bruce Wayne I blocked that out. Bruce Wayne basically gets amnesia. Yeah. Oh God. Oh yikes. Yeah. He he pulled a, he no. pulled out Osborne. Ooh. <laughs> Boo. That's not pulling an Osborne. My fetish is to get touched by a white man with cornrows. That's pulling an Osborne. <laughs> <laughs> I love. I- I love, okay, Noel, you'll love this. Okay, I love how Noel's like the anti-Frank Miller, you know, instead of your mother's a whore, it's like, they're all bastards, all of them. (laughs) Your mother's a whore! (laughs) Well, in a broken system, even the good good people are bad people, because, you know. Mm -hmm. Welcome to late-stage capitalism in a dystopian United States, folks. (laughs) Yep. There's no ethical consumption in a capitalist society. Exactly. We we all talk about getting Ray up here. I think we all need to go down with Ray. (laughs) Yeah. Maybe that's the key. 
I don't know. I Tasmania was, was pretty Iceland. nice. Screw you guys. <laughs> what? Actually, yeah. Where you, Iceland, that's yeah. That's the best place, actually. Like, Sweden, Norway, one of those. Oh, places. yeah. This is coming from the woman. I don't want to wear it, live anywhere where it's going to snow or drop below, like, I, 60 I degrees. Mean, if I can have actual human rights, I'll, I'll do a little snow. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh, everybody loves cocaine. <laughs> I was going to say, that's what that sounded like. Everyone loves cocaine. <laughs> You know, had I lived in the 70s through the disco era, that might be applicable to me. But Anawaska's better and more healthy. Mm. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Noel's going to send us some literature. Uh-uh. <laughs> Fuzz is not a Swedish penis pump. We're good. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Speak for yourself, Lil Hellfire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Phil is a man of a certain age. <laughs> I don't know. I don't say I need it. It might just feel good. It's just nice to have in case. You'd rather, you'd rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. Might just feel right, bro. Sometimes you just need to break. I understand. Sometimes you're stuck in traffic for a while. Come on. Sometimes those family gatherings need a little bit of spice. Wow. <laughs> Well, that escalated quickly. Okay, V.C. Andrews, calm down. <laughs> no flowers in the attic over here, buddy. <laughs> cock a doodle doo uh, Batman looks for the Joker, knowing that he wouldn't leave without killing Batman. He finds the Joker, but sees that the Hollywood stars are wired with Semtex collars, knowing he could kill them by making a wrong step. He fires his grapple hook, jumping on top of the Joker. Joker reveals that his cane turns out to be a with a, has a hidden blade hitting the side of Batman's armor. While the Joker's down, Batman fires a shrunken at the wire connecting the Semtex collars before hitting the steps. Though subdued, the Joker says that this is the part where he get he gets taken back to jail. But Batman pulls the Joker's arm behind his back, cracking it while saying the Joker's reign is over. Come on, Lil, if you lo- you know you love this part. This <laughs> Oh, sweet summer child. <laughs> Uh, You're going to learn the hard way, boy. <laughs> Before Batman can further harm the Joker, Officer Kitch points a shotgun at Batman and saying that the jo- police will take care of the rest of it. But we're yeah, like- that, We should send Ray that screenshot as well. Yes. <laughs> but re- I mean, if Batman only had one hater, it would be Stanley Kitch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know, because even like the like this new, uh, more violent Batman, Bullock's like, oh yeah, yeah, let's go, it's time. <laughs> uh, yeah, Bullock's all for it, he loves it. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but re- uh, the police play the rest of it, but reluctantly turning a blind eye on the Dark Knight. After the Joker is taken away into an ambulance, Montoya and Bullock discuss that the Batman has changed and gotten more brutal. In the ambulance, Joker escapes by kicking the doctor and rolling down the street, laughing crazily into the distance. Yeah, he's still strapped to that stretcher, and he just, like, comes flying out of that ambulance. This is flying down the street. (laughs) (laughs) And again, uh, only the ones you love. Uh, Joker is only the second person to... uh, Realize this is not the real Batman. The first was Catwoman, of course. Mm. Mm-hmm. So what kind of boo is Gordon that he can't figure this out? He just likes the new suit. It, I mean, look, listen. Azrael's got some cakes. I understand. I get it. He's showing off a little bit more leg and, you know, he's distracted. Yeah. Can't blame him. You know, yeah, Sarah's not helping, sense. you know. That's true. Spark alive over there. Yeah, she ditched her magenta jacket a while ago. That isn't catching Jim's eye anymore. This new Batman. That's Gotham's ass. (laughs) (laughs) That's right. (sighs) Uh, It's not the same. Sounds like a Capes After Dark episode, but okay. Whoa! (laughs) Oh, God, the best asses in comics. (laughs) Men and women. We did that, didn't we? Did we do? We we, we 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 did we did the hottest characters, but we didn't. Yeah. I don't think we went specified I mean, by body part. Nightwing, so that that list is just you know number True. one spoiled. But you know mm. the, the other nine, it would be interesting to have everybody for or, the next whatever sixty nine episode. Yeah, <laughs> which which is the next? I don't know. Like I said, we got uh, a little under forty weeks until Salty and Petty sixty nine. So you know that's gonna be a big one. That has to oh, be. Oh yeah, one. that'll be a big one. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll source the audience, and if I don't like anything, then I'll 
<laughs> I was gonna, Come on, boys! I was going to say, we could do favorite asses on the Marvel side, but we know who's going to win uh, number one on that yeah. side. Uh, Nam- oh, yeah. Namor, of course. Oh, oh Marvel, yeah. Marvel side is wide open, hail. Hail! <laughs> <laughs> but I'm just saying, you know, you know, someone's going to rig the the, uh, the uh, voting box, <laughs> and so Namor gets number one best ass. Well, My favorite biscuit. Favorite biscuit. Favorite biscuit. And if he's not, you're wrong. <laughs> My favorite biscuit. <laughs> and if you're wrong, your vote doesn't count. Sorry. That's what America <laughs> Fake news. <laughs> That's right. Like, I got to vote. They're like, nope, you're wrong. Your vote doesn't count. Sorry, kid. <laughs> so you're agreeing with the name. Damn na- you, Jeb Bush. Damn you. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. That whole I'm episode going was whole painful. No, these are actually fun. Like, this, like, as fat fuck, you know, for the most part, um, it's kind of bland. Like, it's action, but it's bland. Like, he's just kind of, yeah. like, going through the motions for the most part until he comes up he, to, you know, old opposition that, that knows Batman well like this. This is why this is fun. Joker's like, wait a damn minute. <laughs> yeah. You never get the feeling that he's in any mortal danger. Like, with the exactly. foot coming down and crushing the buildings and the rubber crocodiles and the the, the dummy bullets. Like, you never get the feeling like he's... He literally has that armor is plot armor, my friend. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and the only thing, the only uh, injury he takes is when Joker gets the sword cane out, and he like nicks him a little bit with that. But that's it. Like, he's used that's to the a only. Pokey poke. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I, I mean, the whole thing is like a cautionary tale. It's basically like you know, oh, you want a more violent Batman? You want a Batman who kills and all this? It's like this is what you would get if we. What? Well, so he's changed. I'm like, babes, it's the '90s. They've all changed. <laughs> mm. Yeah. Everybody, yeah. Oh, yeah, he should have grabbed Joker by that ponytail and be like, oh, really? Yeah, everyone changes? Okay. <laughs> I know. I was I was waiting for him to use that ponytail, like grab him by it and f- fling him over his shoulder or something. <laughs> Joker would have liked that too much. That's why he, he would have. <laughs> yes. And I love, like, Jean-Paul is, like, such a caveman. It's like, you know, you know, what was that, like, two two episodes ago? He's just basically like, yeah, I just, he just wants the F cat woman. But meanwhile, he's like, yeah, Joker, I'm just going to kill this. Yeah, I'm just gonna break his arms. Piece yeah. of crap. I'm, no, he's ready to like shoot him in the head or something, or you know, put a shrinking in his back of his head. He's like, yeah, f him. Yeah. Why did Bruce tangle with this guy for all these years? I was waiting for a little. I was waiting for a little safe sexual tension. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, but yeah, Jean Paul yeah, hadn't figured that, that out. That's that classic uh, built up sexual tension, you know, as seen in the X Files and Moonlighting things like that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> But Jean Paul didn't figure that out because, well, his brain doesn't he's, work that he's way. Only got eyes for Catwoman food. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? You're the knight herself. <laughs> I love Justin memorized that freaking dialogue. Uh. No, these issues are pretty solid. Like I said, it definitely feels like Chuck Dixon was getting something off his chest. <laughs> yeah, I, I love when he had I a statement the to make. Commentary jumping out at me for sure. Yeah, when when the two critics got shot, I was like, oh, Chuck didn't like Cisco and Liebert very much. <laughs> I mean, you have to think back in the day, that's pretty much all we had. That's true. Now we have it, literally, like, endless supplies. Well, of, you know, Rotten Tomatoes, it, Iron yeah, Man. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's everywhere. Before the internet. Uh, Uber, before the internet. Screen Crush. Yeah. Speed. Before all the internet stuff, yeah. Yeah, yeah it was just uh, Cisco and Ebert and that dude with the bow tie, Gene Shalit. Oh, that was yeah, it. Gene with the what with a, the weird mustache, what, yeah. What a hack. Uh, I mean, F in the chat and everything, but I never cared for that. <laughs> yeah. It was basically them and then whoever, like, local person you had in your local newspaper, you know. Right. Yeah, that was it. But, yeah, when I read uh, that, I was like, oh, Chuck, the <laughs> Chuck Dixon probably didn't like Siskel and Ebert very much from the looks of this. A lot of people had beef with this. Yeah, and that's true. Beef. Yeah. You know the best critics? The Muppet critics. That's oh, totally. Our lives on. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. They're two of my favorites as well. Oh, God. Now, the only credible source of my life, honestly. Now all I can see is uh, there's two old guys, Statler and Waldorf. And, oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, who's Statler yeah. who's Waldorf? The, so, the, is, oh, well, obviously Statler is salty, so that would make you Waldorf. Sorry. All I see is those two guys up in the balcony now. I'll be like, oh, this Asriel is a bunch of crap. Oh, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> 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 yeah. Who wrote this? Uh, 
The other definition of don't feed the trolls, honestly. They, yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> they were the original trolls, yes. Yeah. There's one don't meme that had them, it had them on the screen, and then it had uh, watching them were the, were the crew from Mystery Science Theater, and in the bottom oh, it yeah. just had the the infinity symbol. <laughs> 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 yeah, this was a fun pick. Good job, Phil. <laughs> well, we're basically just going in order for ni- for uh, nightfall here. So, call me when you get to the new Asbat stuff. <laughs> again. Oh, what the current uh, the uh, yeah. miniseries the, we just the caught? newest stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It'll, it'll be, be a while. Before. It'll be a while. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got a hundred hundred issue Azrael <laughs> ongoing to get through first. Uh, I know. Oh, some of that stuff's okay though. Honestly. Mm-hmm. Like in the middle, though, is where it starts to. Yeah, somebody's definitely pushing their agenda here. <laughs> I, I mean, in some of those early issues, Talia shows up. I mean, Lil, yeah. we were we were this close to having uh, Jean Paul Valley being Damien's father. Yes, that you know was what? very close. I will take that, but he's not blonde. Like if he just had, if he wasn't like so dark haired, like if he just had like a little bit of blonde highlights, I'd be like, yeah, you do that. Yeah, he's insufferable, yeah. just like him. So. Yeah, but I mean, he's part of Roz's family. They're all like have like Middle Eastern blood in them, aren't yeah. they? But, yeah. And it's, I just need a hint, something to grab onto. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> um, so this, this morning turned into a productive drop session for Philip. So <laughs> yes, <laughs> got to re- re- listen back to all this and just like, yeah, cut, 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 cut. <laughs> All right. Anything else, kids? Anything else, agents no, of I Smash? Just, I just want—I just want to tell Azriel his whole family can. Wow! <laughs> the whole family can suck it. The whole family can suck it. Oh my lord! <laughs> all right, so I'm gonna do the. All right, let's let's do the homework for next month. Because uh, kids, yeah, even little Hellfire doesn't know what she's doing next month. All right, so. Ooh. Or at all with my life. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So yes, in that yes, next week Lilith will Lilith will be back <laughs> for another Joker story. Batman Legends of the Dark Knight sixty five through sixty eight by Mister Jam D. Mateus going Ooh. going sane. And Very then nice. It, then in two weeks we'll do Batman four twenty three through four twenty five. So close. And then. The week after that, we're going to throw something a little different to uh, Lilith. Dark Knight over Metropolis from Ooh. Superman 44, Adventures of Superman 467, and Action Comics 654. So, yeah, you're going to be getting Batman and Superman. Ooh, I think I remember that one, actually. Yep. Was that the, the Jerry Ordway one? I believe so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's good stuff. And then, uh, oh, there's an extra week. So, yeah, then we'll do Detective Comics 596 and 597. And then, at the end of next month, Justin returns as we're going to do, all right, Batman 505 (laughs) and Batman Punisher Lake of Fire. (laughs) Yes, it's happening. Jean-Paul Valley and Frank Castle. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, two coins are uh, uh, literally the same size. Your, the coin. There's no, there's no behind the coin at all. Your mother's yeah. gonna be whoring all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> no mercy bullets to be found between the two for this one. No, the body count will be high. Oh no! Oh yeah. yeah. Jigsaw, and then I think Jigsaw meets the Joker. Oh, right. yeah. yeah. It was quite a, quite a team up. That that screams so nineties. I was gonna say you you want it you want a prime example of the nineties. Yes, yeah. Asriel bat as bats and Punisher. I yes. think we should file a class action lawsuit against those creators as well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you were still ca- I, oh yeah, all of us, but especially me, Justin, and Ray. I mean, I think we have an ironclad case. Just yeah, totally. <laughs> you got us during got us during those prime years. It's just, Warped our, warped our fragile little minds. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, kids, send us your thoughts. Lots of good stuff coming. And uh, if you want little Hellfire on these Azrael episodes, write it into the bandit. <laughs> Email us. Demand it. Keep seeing them. Subscribe to the Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> Hey Lilith, at least if that happened, it's like it's not it's not like Justin's right. You wouldn't have to be here every Sunday morning. This is a odd this is an odd occurrence us doing a Sunday morning. I, 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 yeah. I was half expecting the Aussies. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why are we up so early on a Sunday? 
<laughs> Once again, trying to get episodes done. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, Justin and I are usually Saturday nights. So. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, get a fully. I'm taking a little bit of a break, so we're doing a. Oh my god! Oh my god! Lilith, come on. Asriel Punisher, you know you need to get drunk for that. Come on, come on. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, I'll see what I can do. Oh, you, go. you got a month. You got a month. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's not. Yeah, I, think I got some whiskey around here somewhere. <laughs> right now. I have a month. That's like the. That's like the end of August, love. <gasps> oh yeah, that's right before your sabbatical. The perfect send off. Right something. before your sabbatical. Yes. So come on. Yeah. Get some <laughs> Mexican moonshine. Oh no. no. You could you could drink you could drink <laughs> yourself no, for me, bud. <laughs> you could drink yourself into the sunset for a month. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, capes at lunatics at gmail.com or call the voicemail 614-382-2737. That's 614-38 Capes. And remember, you can find all things Capes and Lunatics episodes, social media, merchandise, the Patreon, where speaking of Drunk Little Hellfire, you can catch her right now, and she's about to do Heroes Reborn Captain America, so. Yes, that see, alone I, I is worth the price. I got four down last time, so I think I can do six. I think I can get six. Hey-oh! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm, I don't know what I'm drinking. I think I'm going to be drink, drinking Mountain Dew, the hard Mountain Dew or whatever. So oh. That's what I'll be drinking for the Captain America. Nice. Oh, nice. Yeah. The taste of America. <laughs> very hard. Very tempting. So find it all at tubespace.io slash Cape and Lunatics Podcast Network. That's tubespace.io slash Cape and Lunatics Podcast Network. All right. We'll let Lilith do her plugs first because she doesn't have that many plugs anymore. Lilith, where can they find your grandma on Facebook? Oh, yeah. If you want to be friends with your favorite internet granny, find me on Facebook. The only social media worth having at this point, unfortunately. That's saying a lot. Looking at you. Um, so yeah, find me on Facebook, Little Hellfire. And you can get cryptic text and pictures of puppies. Either do the yeah. six or do the nine. That's what I said. She'll jump on Facebook like once a week, maybe, if we're lucky, Justin. Then she's like, oh, yeah, this whole situation going on in the world is crap. And then log off. And it's like, what situation? There's like 20 <laughs> crap situations going on right now. What are you talking about? Take your pick. Choose your own adventure puppy. <laughs> <laughs> That's how <laughs> most people think she's a genius. Be like, oh yeah, she knew that about that situation long before anyone else, just by making vague posts. It's just like, yeah, she called it. She called it. No, I was very specific about Aquaman, though. Oh yeah. So, sometimes when I make specific posts, I'm always right. <clears throat> I don't want to freak everybody out. Vague. Uh, she's always right. Okay, Rob Southgate. All right, Justin, uh, you join me here every w- mark my words. You join me here at the end of every month. <laughs> when Lilith's on her sabbaticals uh, uh, and you're every week on Marvel Tales but also where can people find you talking Hulk and uh, finally there's a uh, another show finally debuting uh, what that's is that? right yeah after a, over a year and a half of planning my quote unquote solo podcast adventure the lost library of legends will finally be coming out this month July 2023 and I'm very excited to share it with everyone I'm not going to tell about who I'm covering in the first episode, though. It's going to be a surprise. You have to listen. Yeah. Um, But besides that, I can be found on Gamma Charge, the strongest Marvel podcast there is, where (laughs) Russell and I talk twice a month about everything to do with the Hulk and She-Hulk. And we also have a Patreon over there, too, so do check us out. We have some bonus episodes, too. And besides Gamma... Russell's a Mountain Dew money. That's right. (laughs) That's right. And he needs some more money for uh, some more action figures. He's building more <laughs> more collections of different characters. So, yeah, definitely. Anything that you can do to help us out to to increase our collections would be greatly appreciated. Uh, but tap, besides tap, that, tap, we tap also my co-host. Way downtown. <laughs> <laughs> we also co-host Predator and Prey with our good pal, the High Priest of Khonshu Ray himself. And once a month, we talk about everything to do with Fox's Predator in comics, uh, action figures, movies, and video games. I think uh, I think we mentioned Ray this episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People should know who Ray are now. Scream at Proud member of the collective. Proud, Proud member of the collective. Proud member of the collective. We the all are. Master. Proud member of the collective. Oh yeah. Uh, the hard master. <laughs> Sex on the mind. Exciting times to be a pimp. Uh, Sucking the life force. 
drop. That drop comes in handy more than it should. <laughs> That's a very good all-purpose drop right there. It's a lot of mate. Uh, Whoa, that's pretty damn big. Uh, Tricky dicky. <laughs> Look how big it is. A rumpy pumpy. It was just a really nice package. Sorry, Ray. I was going to let you off the hook, but these two don't want to let you off the hook. Sausage! Chances never zero. You know what? He doesn't care about any of those. You know what pushes his button. Batman. My favorite character. That is true. He's like, impugn my manhood, whatever you want to do. He's like, but don't say I like Batman. I love Batman. (laughs) (laughs) All right, kids. Thank you for joining us again. Lilf will return next week. For going, for going sane. And then Justin will be back at the, in one month for Batman 505 and Punish Batman Punisher Lake of Fire. Lake of Fire. Fire, yeah, yeah. Fire, fire, fire. But yes, thank thank you for joining us, Lilith. Yes, thank you, Lilith. It was fun talking about some as bats with you. The only thing better than doing an episode with either one of you is doing it with both of you. (laughs) Yes. Woohoo! Ugh. So yes, kids, watch out for those Hollywood executives. And ponytails. Oh. All right, join us next time. Join us same bat time. Same bat channel. Oh, we are the night. The Batman Podcast. That movie business is a killer. <laughs>